Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Pops with the Adams Family Gaming. I just want to let y'all know uh, we had our first delay for Scorched Earth. Um, said said we're still making final preparations for the launch. The new estimated launch time for PC and console is 8 p.m. tonight. So they delayed it by about two hours. <clears throat> um, let's not forget that there's going to be probably another delay or two. I'm not expecting to get this until closer to midnight hour time. Hopefully I'm wrong. Um, but even whenever they do push it out, I'm pretty sure they're going to have people ready to do rollbacks and do like fast patch fixes and stuff like that. You know, there's not a, I don't think there's ever been a smooth launch as far as a new map coming for anything arcs done. I'm not trying to be negative Nancy or anything. I'm just talking facts, you know, going by the history, even with ASA when it first released and there was a bunch of exploits going on and then console and windows got, and you, you know, we, we don't have to talk about any of that, but you know, that, that it's going to be, a, it's going to be a rough ride. Definitely. Um, also for the people that, you know, that's mainly for the people that play unofficial. Um, but the people that play, I mean, the people that play official is going to be the main ones that really feel the full effect of a bad rollout. I guess you can say, but the people that play unofficial um, is going to be, there's no telling how long it's going to be, you know, because just because the official servers are being updated doesn't necessarily mean that the unofficial servers are being updated at the same time. I think I said that wrong. The, uh, the official servers will be updated way before the unofficial servers typically. Um, so we might even have to wait longer for the, um for for the stuff to for all the stuff that we're going to be able to get they didn't update it on the actual thing that they linked but this says xbox playstation and steam here's the links to be able to purchase it on the site it still says 4 p.m i think they need to go in there and change that that can be extremely misleading especially if people are refreshing this page here looking for the updates instead of following discord you know not everybody's in discord not i don't know they need to have a better way of communicating for sure but um some of the questions that i know that a couple of y'all have been asking me in the stream the last couple of days is is scorched earth free um technically yes and no um scorched earth comes with the purchase of arc survival ascended so you have to pay for it to get you have to pay for the arc to be able to receive and play any future DLC maps. That's, you know, all the free DLC maps that we got from Arc Survival Evolved, like Crystal Isles, Valguero, um, having a brain fart, can't think of many maps, but like Aberration, Scorched Earth, Extinction, um, Gen 1, Gen 2, oh, Lost Isle, all those maps we're getting for free. So we don't have to worry about any of the maps coming out for the future the only stuff that we're going to have to really like purchase is going to be any of the weird dlcs that they're adding on to us after the fact right which is going to be the bob's uh bob's tall tales can i still play scorched earth blah blah, blah. so some of the questions that y'all been asking do i need to pay for scorched earth Answer is no. Scorched Earth is included in Ark Survival Ascended. If you own Ark Survival Ascended, you automatically have access to the map. So as going to be every single official map that was released for Ark Survival Evolved, you will have access to it. Now, I don't know if how it's going to work on Game Pass just yet. Um, I would assume that it's going to be every single map comes to Game Pass. That just seems like it would be the right fair thing to do, especially since it's exclusive to game pass i guess even though it's on place i'm not sure how the wording would be for that um, another question if i do not own bob's tall tales can i still play scorched earth servers with my friends answer yes you do not need to own bob's you do not need to own bob's tall tales to play on any servers that bob's tall tales content so you don't have to have it to be able to play on Scorched Earth. I don't think you'll be able to tame the Oasis Soar. You're not going to be able to lay down and operate the steam, the train tracks and the train and all that stuff. Um, all the new stuff, all the new engrams coming. I don't think you're going to be able to craft it. You might be able to interact with it since it is in the base game code itself. So you might be able to utilize it if somebody else owns it. You just will not be able to craft it or tame it, if that makes sense. 
Do I need to do anything special to enable Bob's Tall Tales on my server? Answer no. Bob's Tall Tales has been baked into the core game, so no changes are necessary. So, and then for those of you that have an official map or unofficial map, this is how you would code it if you're not using a server manager like uh, Beacon Omni or something like that. Um, but uh, I was hoping to be able to stream some Scorched Earth gameplay tonight, but since they delayed it by another two hours, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Just for the sole purpose of, you know, 3.30 a.m. comes super, super early. 4 o'clock in the morning comes super early for work. But tomorrow, if everything goes smooth and everything goes right, you know, we should be able to start streaming somewhere around 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, and we will be going over the Bob Stall Tales, the DLC. We will be doing some Scorched Earth gameplay. We'll be doing it all. So might even stay up a little bit later than normal just because it's new and I want to experience it. So expect to stream the next couple of days for sure probably sometime around 6 30 7 o'clock and we will see y'all then thank y'all for coming and watching and we will see you on the next one